Welcome to PC Analytics. Today, we're going to dig into the differences between two coolers from Thermarite. The Phantom Spirit 120 versus the Phantom Spirit 120 SE. We've got our test bench right here, ready to put these coolers to the test and give you all the information you need to make the perfect choice for your setup. These two coolers both feature dual tower designs, seven heat pipes, two 120mm fans, and feature the Thermarite logo at the top of the heatsink. With that in mind, both of these coolers feature similar looks, except for the top of the heatsink, with the SE version having exposed heat pipes, while the regular version has a flat textured heatsink top. In regards to insulation, both coolers feature the same insulation process, but we know you're here to see how these two coolers differ in terms of performance, so let's dig into it. We've tested both coolers over idle, high, and overclocked temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks to performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks to performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the saw line. Noise on the right represented by the dash line and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Phantom Spirit 120 in blue has slightly better performance at the higher RPMs relative to the Phantom Spirit 120 SE in red. As we increase the wattage to 105 watts, we can observe that both coolers have similar cooling performance. In regards to sound, the Phantom Spirit 120 SE is slightly louder above 65% fan speed. And when we push the CPU to overclocked levels of 130 watts, the Phantom Spirit 120 SE pulls ahead slightly. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, the Phantom Spirit 120 has a slight lead across the board. However, as we increase the wattage to 105 watts, both coolers observe similar cooling performance for a given noise level. And when we push the CPU to its limits at 130 watts, the Phantom Spirit 120 SE begins to outperform at the higher noise levels. And if you're curious on how the Phantom Spirit 120 SE compares against the Peerless Assassin 120 SE, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. Thanks for watching. And if you found value in this content, I invite you to support us by giving us a thumbs up or hitting that subscribe button. Your support is appreciated.